What is up, YouTube? Third Impact here, coming at you with my quick little review, opinions, notes, comparisons between dub and subs on Space Dandy. Now, I'm a little bit late to the party on this one. Um, it, I think it aired yesterday, the day before, and reviews and people are already posting stuff about it, but better late than never. So, these are my thoughts on episode one. It was really, really fun. I don't know what I was expecting exactly from the f first episode plot-wise or anything like that. I was just really excited for this show because it had big names attached to it and the animation looked really good and what this episode did prove was that the animation is fantastic. The scene near the end where they're on the island, I mean island, what am I saying, on the planet with all the different alien species and they're going around and just all hell's breaking loose. That just looked so fantastic. Um, another time was when Meow was running through boobies and <laughs> boobies, the place, not boobies. If, if you haven't seen the show, you're not going to get that. But uh, Danny's chasing him around, and that part was really well animated as well. Everything was well animated. Just those two parts really stood out to me as like, holy crap. Uh, if every episode has stuff like this going on in it, this show is going to look amazing. The humor was pretty good. There were some pretty good jokes in there. Uh, it's also kind of funny comparing the dubs and the subs because the script is almost identical in a lot of parts, but in the dub, they really try to make it more goofy and funny. And I thought I was going to actually like the dub more than the sub going in. And while I did like quite a few things about it, I'm thinking I'm going to be watching the sub more often than I'm going to be watching the dub. Just because I felt like they almost took it too far with the goofiness at some points. Um, I mean, Dr. Gel makes this uh, Buzz Lightyear to infinity and beyond reference, which is like, oh, that's a, Star that's a Toy Story reference, which is kind of funny, but like at the same time, it's not that funny. Um, when they're... When She's, I can't remember the name of the waitress that works at Booby. She looks like she's going to be a recurring character. He, Dandy asks her to guess what profession he works at. And that in the um, sub, it starts with the U. And she guesses um, the Japanese word for maggot, which I can't remember exactly what it is. But that, to me, was actually funny. She is, seems fairly genuine, but at the same time, she's making fun of him in the... Uh, dub, she says, like, asteroid belt. Like, asteroid belt? That doesn't even make sense. That's not even uh, a thing that you can be. That's an asteroid belt. Why would she say that? I didn't get that at all. That wasn't funny. And there's a couple other parts that just didn't really come off as well in, like, the dub when they're going through hyperspace and QT prints off um, all the c circles in different patterns and things for the report. He says something like, oh, I can't read circle, which is, I guess it's like, that's just kind of dumb. Like, he's just pointing out, like, the fact that he can't read circle. But it's funny because QT is printing this off and the fact that Dandy can't read it. So when the sub, when he's just like, I can't read this, this is, that, that to me came off more funny and better to, than I can't read circle. That was almost too stupid for me. And that's where I find myself seeing a lot of the dub. The dialogue is basically doing the exact same thing. They just try to take the dumb factor to the next level, and that doesn't come off as well. The flaming skull guy um, that Dr. Jell works for, his voice sounded really sort of weak in the dub. It didn't sound very intimidating at all. It sounded really intense in the sub, and I liked it a lot more. QT's voice I liked more in the sub. In the dub, it's okay, but it's kind of annoying, and that audio tune thing, it's like, eh but I liked it a lot more in the sub. Just overall, I, I liked the vibe of the sub more. And overall, in general, I'm very excited for this show. I loved the first episode. I wasn't like, oh my god, this is it, guys. This is going to be the new, the greatest show like of the season. I'm really excited to be watching it. And I'm really excited for the next coming episodes, but it definitely looks more like a fun show than like a new holy, amazing, groundbreaking sort of work, but who knows? I'm really excited to see if the tone of the show is going to be shifting in any of these upcoming episodes, because I felt like this episode was almost lacking a tone. It almost seemed all over the place in a lot of regards, and I hope that 
it does a more serious thing in a few episodes, and then it gets back to being goofy. I hope it's just not completely random with no real plot this the entire time. And one other thing that kind of pissed me off about the dub, too, was that they didn't include the opening and ending, which, at least for the first episode, were some of my favorite parts. I've already rewatched the dub, um, the dub and stuff, the opening and the ending multiple times since, and I really, really enjoyed them, and, uh, if you have only been watching the dub and you haven't seen the opening and ending, that is just, that's a fail on your part, so, um, try to find a version that has them included, because they're really good. And those are my quick thoughts and impressions on the first episode of Space Dandy. I will be doing little reviews and thoughts as the episodes air from now on. And that's about it. Uh, little Garden Part 1. I'm a little bit behind on getting that video done, but that will be done soon. I also really, really want to do a uh, 1 to 12 perspective video on Kill Lap Kill before Thursday. And also classes start tomorrow. So things are going to be a little jam-packed, but I'll at least try to get one of those out each day for the next couple days, and I will see you soon.